I'm Gary Pierce, and this is my wonderful world. Today, we're going to get to the bottom of bridges. Wow, bridges, how exciting. Did I say get to the bottom of? I meant get to the top, too. Do we find bridges in there? No, not in there. This is a bridge! And this is a bridge. And this is a bridge. One bridge, two bridge, three bridge, four! And this is a bridge for trains. And this is a bridge. Man, they just keep coming. This is one of my favorite bridges. I used to come here as a teenager and think about suicide. I almost did it too. Me and my girlfriend made a pact. We were going to go on three, but I'd been over to tie my shoe on two, and when I was standing up on three, she jumped. It looked really painful. Bridges span two high points over a low point, but not all bridges are physical. They can also be metaphorical, especially when applied to relationships. Lovers build bridges between hearts without need of surgery. You and I have a bridge going right now. You may have heard of burning bridges. Typically, it's a metaphor for people who end relationships in a way that they can never be repaired. I love burning bridges. But not that way. I love to burn them literally. That's right. One of my favorite things is to set bridges on fire. The only problem is, most bridges are made out of concrete these days. Look! A wooden bridge! I'm walking across one of the last wooden bridges in America. It's all I could do not to strike a match. It's like shooting the last white rhino. I can't decide which would be better. It's an impossible choice, right? A final word on bridges. So much has been made of them over the years, but we've never really heard their story. We've never listened to them speak. Though, after all, they're bridges. We're just the people who walk on them. Hey. Doesn't have a damn thing to say. Till we meet again. I'm Gary Pierce, and this has been my wonderful world. <laughs>